We do this out of passion and we started uh, two years ago when I moved to Bahrain. Um, our idea was very simple. When I landed, I saw a lot of opportunities over there and, and, and uh, our members were hungry. I went to the Culinary Institute, they were hungry and uh, they wanted to do more, they wanted to see more. So we decided, why don't we do two things? Put Bahrain on a culinary world map and give back to local students uh, who are in this profession and then help them groom uh, to become you know, world-class talent so they can find more jobs and more and more could be driven into this business. Uh, and so far it's been very successful. Uh, we've hosted 12 chefs in two years minus the summer period, but it's been going very strong. We work with the Kandari Institute where we may ensure that local Bahrainis are, are given the spotlight and opportunity to work with these chefs. So it starts from the minute the chefs arrive, some of them go to the airport to receive them. From there on, they are with them like the students, like a shadow, all the time they're here. Even sightseeing, they go, and a lot of them take pride. The, the hospitality in Bahrain is very warm, and, and, and you have to be there to really feel it. And they all take a lot of pride in welcoming this kind of international talent coming to the country. Uh, and it's good to do at a smaller age, at a grassroots level, when they're barely 17, 18 or 19. So they spend time with the chefs in the kitchen, they take the chefs on the sightseeing, they sit down, eat with the chef, and they are involved in, in the mise en place, they are involved in, in the service, whether it's lunch and dinner. And on the last day, we sometimes invite their families to come over, their friends to come over, and we have our board members or our chairman or, or from Tankin, someone over there, uh, to give them certificates and, and to take group pictures. And most of them end up taking selfies with the chefs. Uh, and I believe nowhere in the Middle East it happens that a, a, a kid, a student going to hospitality school, 18, 19 year old, uh, is, is, is what's happening to and three Michelin chefs in the world. Uh, so I think we've, we've done well and we want to continue doing it. Each chef series we have 10 to 12 because we want to keep it limited, otherwise nobody benefits out of it. Uh, I would say close to 90 students or 100, I would say 100, we've done 100. And there was a chef series where we had 15 of them. You know, the chef says bring them on. Some of them are very, very flexible and they've got more time. And some of the chefs have been very, very um, kind. They've said, look, come over, you know, anyone more than welcome to come to our kitchens and then spend time with us in their respective countries. So cl close to 100. And, and this year again, we've uh, hosted three chefs and we've got uh, four more from September on until December. The first ever chef we hosted was Jaime Pasake, with whom I had the opportunity to work in Dubai. Uh, he was the first one who just said, look, I'm going to come down and support this great initiative. From there on, we've, we've done, uh, um, you know, we've, we've had uh, Adam Bayat as a Michelin star, Chef Sylvester Vahid is two Michelin. We had Camila Seidler, she was a top female chef in Latin America. We've had Chef uh, Jonas uh, Bernstein from um, uh, S uh, Stockholm. We want our, lo our local students to be, we, we, we're looking for a bigger space. I want to bring in, we as a club, capital club, want to bring in more students to come in. Because having 10 at times, is, it's very limited. We want to have more. And we also want to open doors to non-students, but as long as they're Bahraini, but they're working in the hospitality sector. Uh, we've seen the response, we've seen us growing and doing well, but the ones who already passed out, they kind of miss out of it. And uh, it's not my idea, it's, it's demand driven. A lot of people have written to us, I met few, and they said, why are you not counting on us? We want to do that. We also want to encourage farmers uh, to grow certain produce more, which is quite popular towards the later half of the year. So we're working with local farmers, uh, we're working with a couple of um, the food producers. Um, we have a very close relationship with Peninsula Farms, with, with, in, uh, Sheikh Rashid, uh, who, who has a team of, of, of uh, um, you know, geniuses in, in, on the farm. So we're working to grow new crop, look at new produce, and how we can scale them, how we can do more of farm to folk. Uh, so these are going to be our, our goals for the later half of the year.